Mark Hershey's unbelievable run of five races in a row winning ended today, but I thought we just got to go through the one of the first Italian races he won this year, well, in this five-run streak, Industriato and Industria Artigianato, sorry, hard to get that out. It used to be in the middle of the season, early season. Now it's like where all the rest of the classics are. You can see on this lovely map where we are, they shortened it because there was some bad weather. Anyway, this race is, race is really hard. Moritz has won it before. Ben Healy's won it before. But this is probably one more impressive uh, ride, except Sabatini, but I can't use that because uh, the rides are on it where he soloed from like 30k to go. But this one was impressive because UAE just went crazy. Like, Full, full gas, and Hershey just delivered. Uh, I'd say it was like more impressive than maybe some of his other wins where he's just pumped people in a sprint. It's like, yeah, we know he's got a good sprint. Uh, obviously, San Sebastian was really impressive as well, but this one, it was just like maybe more unexpected. It's not a really hard race. Like San Sebastian, like, yeah, he's good at climbing, whatever. Like, it's a hard race, whatever. It's easy to get away. But this one, it's like the climb's not that hard. They've gone up it like three times. Like, it's pre-draftable. Ben Healy won it last year. Like, he's, you know, saying, well, and to be able to ride away from people, like, on that shows that you are just a level above everyone else. And you might argue, and it's probably right, so who is he being? Well, Ben Healy is good. Won a lot of Giro stages. Like, he is not, he's not a, a full mincer. So, I think, though, what does it show for the world champs? He is in good, good Nick. Is he in Poggy Nick? I don't know, because it is a very, very hard steep. But you can see Yui are just doing full peel-offs here. Just absolutely bananas. Like, again, as I said, the climb is not hard. It's like 5% for a lot of it. Some of it's steeper. Average is 3.5%. Uh, like, the steep parts, yeah, okay, 8 9%. But they did it, like, twice. Uh, it's not crazy. You can see here, people are literally full gas in the wheels just trying to keep up with this Yui. You can see, I think that's pull double... Uh, behind trying to keep up and then when Hershey goes now chow chow uh, I think Serrano maybe is trying to go with him but no one can do it like no one is anywhere close everyone else is basically at absolute max behind him I think this could be Javier Roma trying to get across but you can see like Hershey's on a different level to all these people by such a long way because they've all tried they've all basically blown up in the wheels and that man's attacked straight off it and chow chow that's basically it like it's it's a pretty incredible ride all around if we go like through so the other races, like, he won the sprint in Pantani, which isn't that impressive, in my opinion. He beat Malese, Albanese, Oldani, Titsa, Kovi, Piganzoli. Like, come on, if you can't beat them, you know, like, you know, you're not going to... Like, at his level, that's not great. But obviously, he can beat them, so no stress there. Uh, and then, you know, this ride was like, wow, 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 he is climbing well. And then Sabatini was impressive just because he held everyone off. He actually never had a big gap either. Like, it was impressive just because he held everyone off. He actually never had a big gap either. Like, it was pretty close to him being caught multiple times, but Hershey still just managed to hold them off. Will I, do I think he's going to win world champs? I don't know. I reckon it's, like, him, Roglic, uh, Evanapol, and Pogacar will be big, and Van der Poel potentially. But the reason I say Roglic is because Slovenia going to do some multiple cards techniques, I reckon, uh, because otherwise... They're quite one-dimensional with Pogaccio. And maybe, yeah, he just rides everyone else's wheel. But I do think Roglic might have more of a role than people expect. But, yeah, I think otherwise Hershey should be up there. Sprint-wise, better sprint than Pogaccio. Close to him. Better sprint than Evan Apol, Yes. Better sprint than Van der Poel, Probably not. So, I don't know. I, I think it'll be interesting to see how well he goes uh, in that. Because at the moment, he's just pumping, like, people who probably aren't going to be up there in world champs. But, anyway, who did enjoy this quick little vid? Uh, Hershey goes, we'll, we'll pan to the front before I stop, but you can see the gap is just ridiculous. Like, he actually wins it by such a long way. Like, no one's even close. Uh, no one's on the same level at all, and it was very, very impressive. The only thing I would say, he should be banned for this, and I actually think, uh, like, if I was another team, I would definitely try and do that because he rides in a 100% illegal position because his forearms are resting on the handlebars, but big, like, everyone kind of does this, but his is actually really obvious. And he definitely should not uh, should not be allowed to race like that. I would say the only thing with this race, actually, is that he's not great on the downhills. He went pretty slow um, compared to other people. So that will kind of be my only point. If it's mega wet in Zurich, I don't know. He's, he's, he used to be a nutter on downhills, but on this one, he looked like people closed a lot of time on the downhill. Anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy this vid, and I'll see you in the next one.